actually children have a better understanding of hope in the sense that they were they are just happy. My name is Moses Nyawanda, and I'm a visual artist. I paint. Um, I've been painting for a while, and uh, my style is usually oil on canvas. That's what I do. Like this piece is purely done with oil on canvas, as you can see. Most of my paintings are about life, my life experiences, and um, this is one of them. Uh, I, I, I lost a child, and uh, again, it, it took some time before I lost her. It was like it took a few, a, a whole year in hospital, and, uh, and that really made it very tough for me because we had to go through that, that, that issue of going to the hospital every other day and seeing what is happening there. But at first it was not, we thought that it was just a normal, we thought that was, was very special, but when we reached at the hospital we found several children had suffering from the same disease and that's where you can look at, you can see now I, I did specifically do a painting on uh, one particular child, but I, the fact that I saw so many of them are suffering the same disease made me think again to know that Grief is not always like uh, just personal. There are people who also experience the same. So I came up with this sketch, the first place, and uh, if you can see, it's a, it, it's actually a, an, an hospital setting where people are feeling down and they are not happy with whatever is going on. So. Just to say that this, this girl suffered from a disease which required a lot of transfusion and chemotherapy. And so that stuck in my mind and that is what I've brought here. And you can see at the, further, at, at the top part of the painting there um, chemotherapy going on there. This painting it's very simple, but it uh, it made me get to really find myself in it, in the sense that I realized that there's um, there's always hope, and more so children have more the the, uh, the children that actually children have a better understanding of hope in the sense that they were they're just happy. The, the, the culture that we have in Africa is and even actually most cultures is about when you when you when you grieve or you lose somebody or lose something you feel sad and you need to maybe show it or even cry over it, that and so that you feel that relief. But again the same culture now comes about like it it, it separates like the man from a woman, in the sense that women are allowed to cry, but men are, are stronger, like in a, they're, they're supposed to be strong. So when you, and such a thing happens, like grief happens or loss happens, then you find that people do not expect a man to cry. So I, I can remember that I couldn't make myself cry really, because I'm, I'm a head of a house anyway, so yet, I could feel that I need to. There's that need to really rent out that anger and even say that you, you, you need to, to get it out. But again, the culture that we have does not allow that. So we find that there are so many people who do not go through the process fully, the process of loss and they end up maybe bottling a lot of emotions that uh, they should have maybe uh, got, got, got out by the time that thing happened. So this project made me actually think, realize that I actually did not get to the point where I, I could, I, I, I could uh, that I released my, 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 my emotions by then. And you can't hide your 
head in the sand that nothing that you are strong it's never that way it at the end of the day people have their own way of, of breaking they have a, a limit and uh, everybody actually at one point breaks it's a good thing to break depending on maybe who is uh, around you because an, an example would be like now like i was saying i would still use my example like if i'm if you are the head of a family and the children are there and you've broken so the children will take it like now they are, they'll, they'll also break because they assume that adults are stronger emotionally but if you are not then it means that you shall have affected all the rest but it's good when you do it like sit set us set a space somewhere where you can do it on your own and break and cry on if you can and then you'll be you'll feel some kind of relief i would say that for an artist when i've done this painting it's like i've broken and i feel that if it is finished that that relief that will come with it that i've done it i've talked my story and it is go, it's out there and people can identify with it because loss is something that happens so when i give it out it's like i've given myself i've given a part of my soul part of my emotions to somebody else to also feel the same and even get encouraged by maybe whatever